anybody with any question before we start the class. If you have any question, yeah, I, have, I have a question, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah, evening. Yeah. All right, sir, please. Uh, I want to know the order of uh, of taking uh, a trade. Is it a chalk? Is it an uh, inducement before chalk? Or chalk is before inducement? Okay, so that's what I'm coming to talk about this evening. Okay, sir. All right, sir. Because we have um, different entry types. Okay, we have different entry types. And uh, because of that. Hello, bro. Yeah, Eric. Yeah, uh, I also have a question. Okay. Yeah, uh, concerning the the chalk and the inducement, like yeah. change, of, uh, change of structure. And the chalk, they are the same thing, right? Change of character. And the, and the uh, change of structure. What? This one is change of structure. Change of character is, uh, when we say change of character, it means structure has changed. Like you have reverse uh, trend. You've changed trend. That's why we say change of character. So is the, uh, market structure changing. So if you say change of structure and chalk, it's like you are saying the same thing in different way. Well, I believe he's talking about break of structure and change of character. Uh, okay, if that is what he's talking about, then Eric, be specific. Are you talking about break of structure, BOS or? Yeah, BOS and the chalk. Uh huh. If we say so uh, BOS change and of structure, that one is like, yeah. They are just saying the same thing in like a different way. All right, so break of structure. Prof. Yeah. Okay, um, please answer the guy first. Hi. Yeah, so when you talk about change of character, it means we are reversing trend. And when we talk about break of structure, it means we are continuing with uh trend. So let's say if we are in a bullish market and we are changing character it means we are changing from bullish to bearish but if we have a break of structure in a, a bullish market it means we are continuing with the bullish structure or bullish uh, trend do you get the difference eric do you get the difference Eric, can you hear me? Oh, uh, he's not on the call. All right, so somebody wanted to ask a question before. Please, um, please, the the you change the time frame to fifteen minutes for me. Let's. I wanted to ask something concerning the previous chat. Previous chat. I've not done anything on that chat. It was it was on the time frame was fifteen minutes, but now yeah, I think the it's... time frame was fifteen. But as I said, I've not done anything yet. Yeah, I just wanted to use it to ask a question, please. Okay. Yes. Um. So when we uh the inducement, okay. Yeah. Um. The last bullish candle, the very um bullish candle, with the this current leg coming down. Yeah the long one the long one before the red ones that's causing this one yes please so you see that pullback the the first pullback it, it pushed up a bit. yes when market breaks that one do we call it like what just happened do we, do we can we refer to that one as inducement market didn't go up before coming to take it it just came up it was lower than the push up before coming down to break do we call it can we refer to it as inducement Market has not yet broken it. I'm uh, I'm referring to the one above it. This one. Yes. This cannot be. We don't take inducement on this leg. Oh. We take inducement on the leg that break this previous high. Oh. That is how we find inducement within this leg, not this one. This leg gives us internal structure between this high and then 
the low that created the high. Okay. Okay. All right. Is it Thank understood? You. This leg yeah. doesn't give us uh, inducement. It only give us inducement when we are like in the reverse mode. Okay. Uh, All right. Understood now. If price break this guy here, that is when you you say it is inducement. Even that one, let me see if, if the low it has taken the low of the previous distance. It no. doesn't take it, then it means it it's not valid. Okay. Sometimes we have to look critically. Uh, thank God, um, trading view gives us that ability to look very critical. It has taken it, it has, it has swept. Taken it. Yeah. yeah, so that is a valid uh, area for inducement when yes. price when price gets here. Okay, right. Thank you very much. Understood. Okay. Please, any other questions? So that today, uh, sorry about that. Today, we will not spend too much time. I will explain uh, the first entry type that is um, chalk with inducement. When when do we use chalk with inducement? I will explain that to you, and then um, it is on uh, Saturday and Sunday that I will go dive uh, deeper into this one. Today, if we were to meet uh, very early, I would have gone deeper, but I had some. Uh, meeting that i attended so i couldn't meet you guys early. that's why i, I sent the time to 8 30. so bear with me but then i don't want us to delay too much so i have to explain uh into detail the first type of entry that we'll be looking at that is um chalk with inducement entry type chalk without inducement and this is in um this is going to be like two scenarios, okay? In a scenario where we have unmitigated uh, zones, in a scenario where we have mitigated zones, okay? So let me uh, show the demonstration first of all. Please, I hope all of you can hear me. I hope you can all hear me loud and clear. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Yes, All right. Okay. So before I come uh, to the chat, that's if we have more time, I might use the live chat today. But if we don't have much time, then uh, I'll only explain the illustration and then you come and look at the live chat in our next meeting or if I am able to get some time to record that one for you guys. All right, so I'll look at it in terms of bearish and then in terms of bullish uh, trend. So let's say we are in our uh, bullish movement and then we Got here. Okay, so something like this. Let's say we have something like this. Okay. And then we are looking to uh how do we call it to make an entry, okay. First of all, this is the entry, okay? But I'll explain how we got this entry, why we took that entry, and also in case we don't have certain criteria met, how can we um, still make an entry? So this was our uh, previous high. We have a break of structure, inducement over here to confirm this uh, high and so on and so forth inducement taking but then this time we have price tapping into a higher time frame supply okay we have price tapping into a higher time frame supply
happens. This is the last high. So what we are looking at is if price breaks this high, okay, break of structure. So this will be our break of structure. If price just breaks this high, then tap onto this higher time frame zone over here. That is, it didn't just sweep this high, but candle body close right into this higher time frame. So let's say this 15 minute time frame or one hour time frame. Then market comes down and breaks this pullback level, valid pullback level. When that happens, we call it a change of character. All right, we call it a change of character. And in this case, we will be looking to what? To sell in the market. But for us to be able to sell, we need what we call inducement. The reason why we need inducement here is that we have a candle body closing above the previous liquidity level, the previous high, which is a, a liquidity level. All right. So when that happened, we will locate our zone, our supply zone in this area with the help of uh, imbalance and all the other uh, things we look at when we were treating identification of point of interest. You look for everything and when all criteria is met, then that means we can make entry in case price leaves an inducement, which we saw over here. Okay, price leaving an inducement. This should be like this, it's supposed to be like this. Price leaving an inducement here. Okay, then later on, price took out this inducement. And when price takes out this inducement, we look for two things. We look for the zone just after this inducement. So let's say there is a zone over here. After the inducement, we happen to get a zone in this area. Now what we are going to do here is that we are going to now allow price to tap into, uh, into this zone on one minute. We will switch once price mitigate this zone. First of all, the zone should be unmitigated to have imbalance. Okay, there should be inducement taken in terms of this uh, scenario that I'm explaining. Okay, there should be inducement that has been what that has been taken. Then price either taps on this guy here, which we call the decisional OB. Okay, the OB after the uh, inducement is referred to as the decisional OB. That's how we refer to that particular hot entry, uh, sorry, uh, zone. Then we have this guy, which is the extreme zone, extreme OB, okay? Now, if we are buying on the decisional OB, then we need an extra confirmation, which is going to be what? our single candle order block to form on this OB before we make an entry. And this is why we switch into the odds, into the lower time frame of one minute. That's if we are using 15 minutes as our higher time frame. But if we are using one hour, take note of this, if we are using one hour as our higher time frame, then our entry time frame is five minutes. So those of you that is one hour to do your analysis, you use five minutes to make your odds, your entry uh, decision, okay? But when trading on the decision OB, we will be using odds, the uh, the single candle order block, which I'll be talking about maybe uh, in our next lecture or next two lectures, okay? then you know what a uh, single candle order block is. But when we are uh, trading from the extreme order block, that is the high probability order block, 
Then that one, once price mitigates the other block, we just make our entry. You don't need to wait for uh, a single candle other block formation, okay? You just make your entry because we are uh, dealing with the extreme other block, okay? But this will be on, uh, how, do you, how do you call it? The lower time frame, okay? This will be on what? The entry time frame. And I told you, if you are on one hour, you use five minutes. If you are on 15 minutes, you use what? You use um, one minute, okay, for your entry. I think when we do the demonstration on the live chat, you understand this more. But for now, try to watch. Uh, once we are done, try to watch this lesson again to understand the concept I am what, revealing to you so that when we begin to what, to look at it on the live chat, you understand uh, what we are saying. Now, the reason why uh, sometimes when the, the candle that tap into this zone, okay, does not sweep a candle's high, then you don't just uh, buy directly from this zone. The reason being that there could be a candle that will now break above this guy, okay, sweep above it, and then now give us something like this, a sweep above this guy, all right? When that happens, then you use this guy rather as your hot OB, because there will be a re tap into what into that on the lower time frame use it as your ob and you make entry now there is another way you can trade this guy without inducement so let's say we don't have an inducement okay let's say we don't have an inducement here price just uh went straight down and then comes back over here and then comes back to your zone over here. That is where what I'm explaining now is even more effective, where this guy will again have a candle sweeping above its closure. When that happens, it means we have what a liquidity what grab. And you can use this guy now as a point of what an entry zone. So in that way, you can, if it is on 15 minutes, you can switch to a one minute now and then look for your change of character on one minute and uh, an inducement, then a retap onto this zone and you sell. Let me use this like this. So it taps back into that zone. Okay. Then it gives you a chalk and leaves an inducement. This like on the lower time frame, so it gives you a chalk over here. Gives you a change of character over here. In this case, this guy becomes like an inducement and not a chalk anymore. Like we, okay, I even labeled this as a break of stretch. I know that was supposed to be a chalk. But when we have something like this, a sweep at the top, then this one is no longer a change of character. It just becomes an inducement to confirm this as a high. Then this one now becomes our major zone of entry, okay? Where it leaves So if it breaks this, that becomes our change of character. Where is this thing? Okay, if it breaks this level, it becomes our change of character. Then we expect to leave an inducement and then price takes this inducement, tap into the zone. Then now we cannot we can sell 
and take profit at our odd 15 minutes previous low. Okay. This might be a little bit confusing to you now, but I think by the time we finish looking at it on the live chat, you should get the understanding to it. I don't know how many of you are doing the back testing so far. I think two people are okay, three people, but two are the ones that have been posting on the uh, page. One person sends directly to my DM. I think all of you should be posting your chats on the page. Don't be sending to my DM now. That's on Telegram, not WhatsApp. WhatsApp have not opened the page yet. Uh, Telegram, the discussion page is open, so you can post all your this thing. All the this thing. I realize you guys sent some messages this evening. I'll come and answer or all, uh, all of them, maybe uh, before I sleep uh, in the night. Okay. So this is the first entry criteria that we'll be looking at that is the chalk with inducement okay chalk with inducement if let's say you don't understand something on this then you can message me but if you play um your part by back testing well on the chat like um uh the two gentlemen are doing on the telegram page then you should be able to get these things clearly on the chat i think by the time we have our next meeting i should uh pay for my premium uh trading view again i've not renewed it for some time i should be able to renew it by the time we meet for our next lesson so that we can use the playback to to analyze and backtest these entry types. Please, any question? Any question? Yeah, why don't uh, Prof, please. Hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, on what time, in what time should we turn to the lower time for entry? Is it when you just type to our, type into our uh, uh, point of interest? Yes, once there is. No, or uh, after, I have, after I've seen them uh, chalk here, chalk before I go. No, to no, 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 no. Let's say you are you are using one hour as your. Uh, let's say this area here is our one hour time frame, okay? Yes, sir. And then we analyze this zone down, and we waited for price. Once price comes and tap in like this, pam, quickly you shift to what? To five minutes. The reason being that the lower time frame move faster than what the higher time frame because five minutes is less than H1. Plain so many five minutes make up one H1 candlestick. You mm. get the point. Yes, sir. So you once the price touches on the zone, your H1 zone, quickly you shift to what five minutes and look for this uh change of character because we tap into H1 zone if the nearest valid pullback is broken then that becomes your change of character on the five minutes then you look out for inducement being created through that process when you there is an inducement minutes. come again in five minutes yes inducement in five minutes okay when that is created then you now look for your valid order block for entry on that five minutes within uh, the uh, one hour zone area where price taps before you change into the five minutes. On the five minutes, you look for an, a valid OP based on the, uh, the procedures we ought. We look at when looking for what, a valid OB. You follow all those steps and then you locate your valid OB. And when price comes there, as I said, you look, you can look out for all the valid unmitigated OBs before even the extreme one. So we have the uh, decisional and the extreme, okay? So there could be two, three, four uh, unmitigated OBs that have imbalance uh, within them, okay? So when that happened, then you can, hold, you can take your trade on five minutes and put your stop loss um, above the 
high. So for instance, if we are taking our cell from here, okay, we we'll put our stop just above this high and our target will be the previous 15 minutes low. Okay, so the price will come hit your target and then you go. Please, um, uh, Bex, is that, is it clear? Very clear, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, you are welcome. And sir, uh, that last time I was not in class, the last um, uh, class, and you okay. said if we have like two or three OBs, yeah. and uh, that the, the valid one should be, is the one that is close to the inducement and the S3. So if we yeah. have like three or four between, those are yeah. not valid. No, they are valid, but not valid. Okay. They are valid in the sense that price will react anytime price, price get there, but will not go far. And then it will reverse and break that zone and go uh, down until it gets. So it's like those zones will be serving like SMT. Okay. They'll be serving like SMT. But once in a while, some of those zones also, uh, uh, how would they call it, place out once in a while. Okay, those zones also uh, place out. So it's not um, that every zone that you see, you should be trading it, no. Some zones are uh, smart money traps, okay. And that, Reminds me, let's say, for instance, uh, over here, every zone that was here was mitigated, uh, the same setup, but every zone, all the OBs were mitigated. With that one, once price takes uh, the liquidity, all that I need to look for is a single candle, other block formation. Then once price retap that, retest that single candle, other block, then you take your trade. But we'll, maybe when uh, we are looking at a single candle order block, you understand that one better. That is what I forgot about this, so I, I've just said it now. So that is another way to find an entry on this um, type of formation. So I told you, chalk, we have chalk with inducement entry, chalk without inducement entry, and we have chalk with flip entry model. Okay, so we'll be looking at all of them. I'm trying my very best to see if by Sunday we can finish everything. If not, latest by Monday, we should finish everything. Okay. I'm trying my very best. Just hoping that nothing crosses my path during this uh, week again. All right. Any other question? So I've heard you said I've. Um, uh... I cross. I come across your thesis, and I have um, watched them even three to four times each of them. But I've not seen where you teach flip. I hear you always say flip, flip. I've tried to see if I can see where you teach flip to understand. I've not seen really this. flip, flip entry. Really, I think I talk about it. I I, 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 I didn't to... put it as a topic, but I talked about it. So let's say, for instance. Let me just use uh, this to make an uh, to explain it. Okay. Uh, if you go to ICT, ICT uh, traders call it breaker blocks. Okay. So let's say we have a downward movement. Remember that in the uh, downtrend, we are looking to always sell from uh, the supply area, okay? Then suddenly, instead of selling from the supply zone, price broke through the supply. That supply that was broken through is referred to as a flip. So price has flipped from support to now become a demand. Okay. Okay, sir. So this place that's supposed to be a supply, okay, 
will now change to become a demand for what? For bias. Like this. Okay, so this will change from supply to what? To demand. That is what we call what? A flip. And vice versa, if we are in the bullish also, like we have here, instead of here, which is demand, to uh, activate and for us to buy, but then we continue going down, then this become a flip from what? Demand to what? To supply for what? For sellers. So when we talk about flips, we are only looking at changing from demand to supply and then vice versa. Okay, so it's not um, anything so um, difficult to do or to understand. Okay, so here like this also flipped. Okay, and then here also flipped from demand to supply. Here too, it has been flipped. Sorry. Here too has been flipped as well. So uh, breaker block traders will be waiting for price to come here for them to, uh, to sell. Sorry, I don't know why the, the chat is moving by itself like that. For them to sell. Okay, so Bex, do you understand now? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. There's any other question? Yeah. Yeah. Um in earlier our lectures i mean not today but the previous one you said that the fundamental news is very very i mean influence in the market do you think think yeah. it's very necessary for us to check whether there are there will be a news release during the day before making an entry oh that one you can check honestly you can check. during uh yeah the, our last meeting, I was saying that I personally don't check news because I understand how the market behaves, understand how it behaves with news. And moreover, I use trading view. So if there is news, trading view what will indicate to me, like for instance, these areas or okay, these areas tomorrow, like this, at this time here, we have news, US news. Here we also have. Uh, US or news. So something like that, trading view is alerting me that in this area, if I want to know what type of news it is, I'll just click on it like this and it will, it will display, you see, to display the news that is going to what is going to happen. My own is to look at what the chart is telling me and then do according to that based on my understanding of what of the market. That is all. Do you get it? Yes. So you can you can check you can always check uh, news. You can use uh, Forest Factory to check um, events for the week, and then you can use their economic calendar also to check for live uh, news events. Okay. Yeah, is it class or class? You raise your hand. Please, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. All right. Good evening. Good evening, guys. How are you? Yeah. Cool. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Your side. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, with regards to your uh your your pili raise your raising, since to your breaker blocks and your imbalances and your fair value gaps. Is it more based on which we can base our entries based on those PD rays matrix or I don't know. Yeah, not, that... not, not even the um, entries, but in selecting your point of interest where you see as your valid 
uh, OB, that is your other block, your entry uh, point. In selecting them, that is where the, our imbalances, the sweep of the previous high or low, those things comes in, okay? Then when we are looking at the entry, that is where we are looking at price tapping on a higher time frame uh, point of interest or sweeping a previous high, could be a daily high, could be a daily low, a weekly high or a weekly low, or uh, an OB being tapped on, okay, on the higher time frame. Then shifting to the lower time frame of either five minutes or one minute, depending on the higher time frame you are using. Now, I said if you are using one hour, your entry should be on five minutes, and if you are using 15 minutes, your entry should be on one minute, okay? Then when that happens, all you need to do is to look for a change of character on the lower time frame. And I said the change of character occurs on the lower time frame when the first valid pullback or the previous valid pullback is taken out after the tap on the higher time frame zone. When that happens, we say the that break is a change of character. Then when we have a candle body closing above the previous high that was formed before tapping into the higher time frame zone, okay, then we have to look for inducement before making an entry. And if we have just a sweep, then we can just look for a change of character without inducement and we make our hot. Our entry, which I'll be talking is the next type I'll be talking about later on, not uh, today. Okay, so those are the criteria uh, or criteria that we look at to make our selection for our valid OBs and also our entry decision. Oh, noted, noted, sir, noted. All right. Yeah, please, any other question before we end the call for today? We have already spent 40 minutes. So, uh, um, so in this scenario, the, the first pullback, we don't need any inducement in this scenario. Which one? I mean, the the one that you say you enter into the, um, the POI. And then, if, if I would be happy if you can get the previous chart that you made it. I think I deleted uh, that, uh, but let me see. That is the entry chart, right? Yes, please. This one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what was the question? I'm, I'm, I'm saying so in this case we don't need any uh, inducement before confirming the high no because this one it is it has already tapped onto a higher time frame poi so there's no need of uh what you'll be considering as induce, inducement now is what you'll be calling a change of character on the entry time frame listening very well on the entry time frame oh, okay yes but then on the higher time frame it will be seen as an inducement oh okay 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 do you get it now yes please all right there's another question i can take one more question all other questions please should be sent to the telegram page i'm pasting the link to the telegram discussion group in the chat session so if you are not on the page you want to join Good evening, sir. yeah evening yes sir please um my uh, is clarification like let's assume someone is using one hour for his analysis and price okay. is at the <clears throat> and the other blocks so you see to the lower time frame to see the chalk and observing the inducement and orders before entering how about if a person is using let's say Weekly or daily, which one will you switch on to? So if you're using weekly or daily, you switch on to 15 minutes. Okay, sir. Yeah. So, so H4, 
weekly or daily for their analysis. H for H1, you switch on. H for weekly. Uh, okay, sometimes weekly you can use one hour. Weekly you can use one hour. Um, daily, uh, 30 minutes or 15 minutes, any of those two. But H4 should be 15 minutes. H4 should be 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah. So um, I've just Thank pasted the, um, uh, this thing in the chat session. I've pasted the Telegram discussion page in the chat session. So you can all, oh, it didn't go through. Let me see. Um, please, I'm coming, I think. My system has freeze. Let me use my phone to send it. My PC got frozen. Uh, messages. Oh, someone shared something. Is it Jumbo? Sarah, what was that? What you shared? Okay, so I've pasted the listing, the link to the uh, Telegram page. Please do well to join the hello. page. Yeah, hello. Uh, you said this when we are looking at uh, types of modules, the entry modules. So which uh, this one that we discussed, which type is it? This is the talk with inducement. Talk with inducement. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. I said it at the beginning of the lesson. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. Uh, it's good having you on the call. I'll see you again on Saturday and Sunday. So we have Saturday, we have Sunday also. We we'll meet on these two days uh, as well. So enjoy your evening. The lesson will be posted on the YouTube channel. Those of you who are sharing the lesson with your friends, well, all done continue so that they also uh get to know those of you are not sharing too please do well and share moreover youtube themselves is also promoting it to their viewers so me some people who are even messaging me are not even on the pages the whatsapp page or the telegram page and they are even enjoying the lesson that you guys will so you guys should make what all right have a nice evening